How's it going, people? Doing all right? Uh, haven't been making many face videos on uh, on this uh, channel this uh, new year because I don't know. I just uh, haven't really been feeling it lately. Uh, actually, I've made some. I just haven't put them up because they all just I don't want to look at them again and. Uh, I just assume they suck. Um, I've opened some Scientology mail on video, and maybe I'll put that up later, but it'll be from last year if I do. I have a remaining bit of uh, business with uh, my good friends. I, I don't know what month I got this in. It was last year sometime. I've had it for a while. Um, Actually, they sent it to my mom. She gets all the best junk mail. Uh, they know she's retired. She's got a lot of time to devote to the cause. But, before I do this, let's get in the proper spirit of things. A little uh, New Amsterdam vodka. And I'm going to make a Bloody Mary. Something I haven't done on camera. Let's see. That's bloody good. All right. And trying something new. Cicero beverages, bacon flavored Bloody Mary mix. I probably should have read the Koran for this, <sighs> but I'm just not in the mood. So we'll do a little uh, Scientology with a. Uh, Bacon flavored Bloody Mary mix. Ah, yes. Pure D light. It's uh, raining outside, nice and cold. So I got a fire going, keep things toasty. And where's my, my uh, fuller brush letter opener? And Bloody Mary stirrer. Mmm, bacony. Ah. Uh. Okay. Let's see what they got for us here. Uh, inside this month's magazine, which was months ago, <laughs> last year, what's poisoning your life? the long-term effects of drugs and toxins, and how purification clears the way for a new life. That's inside there. Uh, our Biochemical Society by L. Ron Hubbard, so you know it's going to be a classic. Uh, news updates, which won't be so new. but um, Hide your children from the Sykes. Free member discounts offer on page 11. It's a free member discount. Okay. Uh, free six-month membership in the International Association of Scientologists. Something else you can belong to. and They're going to give you a discount, so it won't cost too much initially. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what goodies they have in store for me. Okay. Ooh. L. Ron Hubbard Dianetics. A special discount. 50% off. If you... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give them an old copy. They'll give you a new one for half the price of whatever they're charging now. That's pretty damn awesome. You could buy the same book again. Obviously new and improved. Uh, new Year's 2016. Celebrate our most spectacular year of expansion. I'm probably a little late there. It's February um, 18th right now. Uh, call for event time location and to reserve your seat. 
calendar of events. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these have all passed. All right, well, let's see if there's any more fun to be had here. Whoops, what's this? Oh, something they want me to... A purification program reply today. And both boxes that you check are yes. There's no no box. They don't want you mailing it back. I think I'll add a no box and mail it back to them anyway, since they're paying for the postage. All right. Very nice. Uh, anyway, what they said on the envelope. Um, God, you could almost chew this Bloody Mary. Love it. Tastes like pig. Hmm. Drugs and toxins dull your thinking. Dim your awareness. Destroy your life. Yeah. The solution is in this book. Read Clear Body, Clear Mind by L. Ron Hubbard, who had both a clear mind and clear body. It was just plain clear. Practically transparent. He was Mr. Cellophane. That should be his name. Mr. Cellophane. Um, the old natural regimen that eliminates from the body the devastating effects of drugs and toxins. Removing barriers to mental and spiritual advancement. Tens of thousands have experienced new confidence and clear thinking as a result of the purification program. Buy and read Clear Body, Clear Mind. And there's contact information. I'll spare you. These people are easy to find. All right, dynamic. What's poisoning your life? Our biochemical society. Um, here's a little quote from uh, LRH for page 12. Drugs, radioactive wastes, pollutants, and chemical agents of all types are not only everywhere, but are becoming even more prevalent as time goes on. He forgot to mention viruses. <sighs> I'm sure that they got a cure for that too. By the way, how come I see so many... Scientologists that smoke cigarettes. I noticed that. And uh, why did Christy Alley need to go to Jenny Craig, or was it Weight Watchers? They couldn't fix her problem there? <laughs> they didn't have a program for that, huh? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's poisoning your life? Drugs, drug consumption, clinical tests, and medical autopsies? have revealed that medical drugs, psychedelic drugs, and street drugs can lodge in the tissues and remain in the body for years, but you're just not getting a buzz anymore, that's all. Alcohol, health issues, 25 chronic diseases and conditions are attributed to alcohol, such as cancers, digestive uh, diseases, and numerous cardiovascular diseases, and don't forget asbestos, and uh, radium, and um, DDT and shit. They'll help you with all of that, I guess. <clears throat> Remove the long-term effects of drugs and toxins. Free yourself from their chronic grip. Unlock greater vitality or just take Viagra <laughs> uh, improve your perceptions it's time for clear thinking and a new life here's how and they're only on page five that's pretty damn good uh, are the drugs and toxins of modern life taking their toll on you what a useless question that was they've already said it they were among other things, like smog and, you know, <coughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Take Tarl, 
T-A-R-L, that's like Carl with a T, uh, Take Tarl, a commercial building contractor. After decades of side effects and after effects, he is no longer under the influence of street drugs and on-site chemicals. I thought maybe he was like dealing with, you know, asbestos or something, you know, being a contractor, you know, or some other bad shit. But he was also a druggie and a contractor. For the first time in 25 years, I feel truly alive. I'm as energetic as when I was 16, back when I was taking drugs. <laughs> Just That's back when, when he started taking drugs, before he was chasing a dragon. <sighs> Says Tarl. <laughs> it is teens. Tarl's, Tarl indulged in alcohol and marijuana, probably after 16. So he felt as good as if he were 16. Um, later on, paints and chemicals at work added to the mix. Yeah, I was going to mention paints and solvents, yeah. Growing up, I was perpetually stoned, even if I hadn't smoked weed in months. And those paint chips probably helped, too. Uh, I was feeling, it was a feeling I came to cope and live with. It became normal to miss simple things in conversations like people's names. Hidden dangers, today's drugs and toxins represent a real and present danger on our lives, one that's often hidden. In the case of toxins, despite the huge strides in curbing industrial emissions and countless environmental protective laws, our air and water are still toxic. Well, fix it! Do something. You guys got all the answers. Oh, I get it. We, we need to pay them. They're not going to just help, you know. Um... Our air and waters are still toxic dumping grounds. Every year, 2.5 billion pounds of toxic chemicals are pumped into Earth's atmosphere. They permeate the air, poison the water, and populate our food. They populate it. That's what it says. Even the most innocent and mundane foods can be chemically compromised, those damn GMOs. Shit like that. Take the U.S. based environmental working groups, Dirty Dozen. A ranking of popular fruits and vegetables with the highest concentration of pesticide residues. The dozen include peaches, potatoes, strawberries, spinach, celery, and grapes. However, outscoring them all in the one that's supposed to keep the doctor away, the average apple comes with 47 distinct pesticides. Hmm. Then, there are drugs. Illicit and prescribed consumption is at an all-time high. The statistics are many. It sounds 
statistical there. Um, a national survey of school kids finds that more smoke marijuana, 22%, than cigarettes, 16%. Well, that's what's wrong with them. They should be smoking less cigarettes. Those, fucker, those fuckers will kill you. Um, and in the case of prescription drugs, whereas the U.S. accounts for only 5% of the world population, United States prescription drug consumption accounts for 75% of global consumption. I'm not sure where they're getting these statistics, but you know. I guess it was um, you know, the Dirty Dozen people, the um, U.S. based in environmental working groups, Dirty Dozen. Although I don't know, because they were just talking about fruits and vegetables, so I don't know where they got these statistics. There's no citations. All right. Drugs are everywhere. I don't have any right now. All of them leave something behind. Mm. The fog rolls in. A toxic drug-laden fog has swept across our cultural landscape and settled in our midst. Some of, the, our, some of our greatest dangers may now reside in the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. The indulgences we allow ourselves and the prescribed cures we dutifully take. What are the effects of this substance overload? With each intake, small amounts of the drug toxins, uh, uh, toxic residue, can remain in the system. Slowly they add up, dulling our senses, clouding our thoughts, and playing with our emotions. Ugh. The result? That low energy tiredness you can't shake off the irritability rooted in no reason and the thoughts that occasionally won't come together. The solution, purification. Hmm. In the 1970s, L. Ron Hubbard did extensive research on the mental and spiritual effects of drugs. He discovered their influence and can, uh, he discovered their influence can continue 5, 10, even 20 years later. I wonder how he did this research. it became apparent that drug and toxin residues can remain stored in the body's fatty tissues. These small residual deposits continue to be continued. That, that whole page there is just onto a different t tangent. Uh, continue their adverse effect long after the time of consumption. They can impact your health, energy level, memory, and ability to learn. They can make you feel blank, which is not as good as clear. Stupid, depressed, and confused. Disease 
disability, and more can ensue. Mm. A clear path to clear thinking. In response, Mr. R Mr. Hubbard developed the purification program. An exact regimen that frees an individual from the devastating mental and spiritual effects of past drug and drugs and toxins. The purification program has four key elements running, sweating in the sauna, a standard schedule, and nutrition and supplements. So you could just go to the gym, probably pay a lot less, and you're Get all that there. Uh, how and where can I do it? 24-hour um, fitness, um, or you can get your own home gym, you know, and take some supplements and stuff. You don't need these people. Not for that. Uh, we deliver the purification program here at the Church of Scientology. Our expert purification specialists administer the program to ensure you get everything out of it you can, or you can just get a personal trainer and, you know, get ripped. Uh, while the program length varies by person, it takes an average of three weeks. Our staff will help you work out the schedule that is best for you. Sounds like bullshit. Three weeks. Yeah. The fog has now lifted. And that's in quotations. While each person's experience is unique, the common threads that Tie together the stories of most purification program graduates are clear thinking, greater energy, sharpened senses, and a surge of vitality and a renewed sense of well being. Take Lori, uh, Lowry, L A U R I, Lowry, uh, a financial executive. For seven years, she took painkillers daily to combat the excruciating pain of slip discs. She had trouble sleeping and could get extremely irritable. She had this to say after the program, I now have energetic thinking explains Lowry uh, before I would think of something I needed to do and then grumble and delay now my decisions are fast I am calm I don't have the anger I used to have. My sensations are at a high capacity. My sense of smell is intensified, which is not always a good thing. Her <laughs> sense of smell. Okay. Uh, colors are clearer and brighter. On top of that, a fog I had never noticed has lifted. Break free from the influence of drugs and toxins in your life. Enroll in the purification program here at the Church of Scientology of Sacramento. Come in today, please. All right, and uh, and here's a little testimonial from Blondie here. Look how clear and clear, you know, clear and purified she looks. And she says, toxins were the cause of my stomach trouble. It's now gone. Her stomach or just the trouble? 
And I am clean and fresh. She looks fresh. She, you know. All right. Uh, I am new and invigorated. Mm. Bacony residue. Gotta chew it. Um, the purification program is an amazing action. I had inexplicable uh, stomach pains that would start randomly. I cleared major toxins out of my body. Toxins that were the cause of my stomach trouble. It might have been stress. You might have been psychosomatic even. That'll do it. It's now gone and I am clean and fresh. Change her name to Summer's Eve. All right. Well, anyway, um, real results in real life. I'll save that one for later. Anyway, I got as far as page eight. And there was another page where I kind of skipped because it was... It's just a rundown on their program. You can freeze frame that if you like. Anyway, it's you know, it looks like you need a treadmill and a and a sauna, dry sauna, and all that shit you can get in a gymnasium. So, uh, but they do it the Scientology way. So I mean, maybe that's better. Well, let me know if, if you learned something. If you've done the purification thing, chime in. If you've been to a gymnasium and then done the gymnasium, you know, the Scientology thing, let me know how they're different. I don't do either one. I I just work for a living, and that's where I get my exercise. Um, you know, and I, I like to curl. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do more videos, I promise. And I might even put some of the ones up I did a while back. I just... Uh, I don't know. I just haven't been into it. I've got four YouTube channels, and each one's different, and um, I just haven't been paying as much attention to this one, and probably why it gets so few views. I think the last video I did got a whole eight views three months ago, so that's a big deal. Um, anyway, stay tuned. Let me know if you learned something. Peace. The fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having in 2016.